So rubric 1.3, we're still on planning. This is focus student two this time, student with identified special needs. Essential question, how does the candidate plan instruction using knowledge of focus student two, two's assets and learning needs to support meaningful engagement with the content specific to learning goals? Again, I'm focusing on level three, and I have five things. Even though there's two blocks here, I pull out five things you should try to work for. The first one, candidates' planned accommodations attend to their IEP 504 gate goals and identified assets and learning needs between focus student two's current development or academic abilities and the demands of the lesson. Okay, so hold on to that. And allow focus student two to fully access content and meet learning goals. So this is about inclusion. They're not pulled away, they're not separate, they're in the midst, they're part of the lesson. The other part, candidate provides a cogent rationale and plan for scaffolding activities and strategies to accommodate focus students' progress towards meeting learning goals. So I have five things for this one. You want to describe the accommodations you're setting up for focus students' learning needs. Describe how you take into account focus students' learn, um, learning assets. And this comes back to focus student one again. Focus student one, focus student two, focus student three, it's all about their needs and their assets. You don't want to be focused on how they need stuff and they're broken and what's wrong with them. You want to say what's going to help them move to the next place in their learning, including and incorporating the good things they bring to their learning already. So assets is very important. Make sure that's clear. And then you also want to make sure you're attending to the goals and the IEP 504 gate goals. That means you have to set them out in your writing. So in your writing somewhere, make sure you have Student focus student two's goals in their 504 plan are such and such and such and such, and I'm paying attention to them in this way. Okay. The next one is about full inclusion. How are you involving them in the class in a way that acknowledges who they are and how they learn, but also fully. So they're working with the same kinds of ideas and problems and questions that you're setting up for everybody, and you're supporting them in that. The last one is describe why your sc scaffolds are particularly relevant for focus student two. As you're fully including them in the lesson, how are you making sure that they can be involved in a way that matters through the scaffolds you offer them? Okay, so those are the five things I suggest for this one. Level four, easy one point again. Whenever you see an easy one point, go for it because then that'll make up for any points you might lose elsewhere. Okay. Level three plus, candidate articulates how plans build on focus students whose assets and learning needs. All right, so do that, as I've said over here. Um, there's a difference, let me make sure, there's a difference between the two. Um, in, in level three, it's attending to their assets and learning needs. So make the difference, A attending to. So in your write-up, you say, I'm attending to their assets and learning needs, it's a level three. In your writing, if you say, I'm building on their assets and learning needs, and you give good explanation on how you're building on their assets and learning needs, then you can move up to a level three, a level four, I'm sorry. Easy one point gain, focus on focus two, focus student two as capable learner, and address how you will use their strengths and interests to promote their learning. Okay, for level five, candidate plans a lesson using UDL, UDL framework again. Um, and a big piece of this one is this last piece is how are they a part of the whole class community if you're moving towards level five do describe that make it clear that you understand them as part of the whole community that they're a integral part of it and not just separate and different and the rationale cites evidence-based -based practices so this is like focus student one ask you to think about eld this is asking you to talk about practices re relevant to IEP 504 GATE students, right? In your planning, describe how you will bring focus student two in the learning community as an engaged, contributing learner, and then cite evidence from about practices that do that kind of work. And again, the same kinds of evidence, your written narratives, your lesson plan, and your instructional materials.